Let's part and cut this one. Cut this one, set trap. Cut this flight, he's reached waypoint 7. Really Dash 2, slide. 1-1, spark copies off. Hovering off to the left, 2, you got it. Copy. Yeah, I'm going to go through the time now. Hey, Robert's here. It's a video I decided to make about VSCAA. If you don't know what VSCAA is, it's a group of people that come together from all sorts of different communities to fly and um, do coordination training exercises uh, mid-flight and radio procedures with TACP, uh, JTAC personnel on the ground. Really fun, really fun. Um, it's awesome to get everyone on the same page for operations that uh, we do outside of this. Um, these are just great guys to fly with. They're all very passionate about doing it and very skilled. But uh, for now, enjoy the video. It's just some footage of us taking turns leading the column and um, doing little challenges where we try to beat our time and go through this NOE course. Um, yeah, later on there will be some footage of us doing some LZ training as well. So that'll be fun. Let's settle in and enjoy the video. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for all the Discord information if you're interested in joining any of these communities. Bye for now. I'm passing. Take a command. Last bird passing. Good I'll to get back to the Last bird entering. Spartan, this is Cummins 4, passing waypoint 5, 6. Got this one for Sega, Spartan. Slowing up, slowing up. Spartan 1, 6, passing waypoint 6. Running your straight command. 1, 4, Spartan, copy that. Passing on your right, brother. Last bird passing on your right. I'm back in. Spartan, cut this one. Cut this one, set trap. Cut this flight, it's reached waypoint 7. Really Dash 2 slide. 1-1, spark copies off. Hovering off to the left, 2, you got it. Copy. Passing time now. Passing you on the right. Two is back in formation. Coffee's starting the course now. I'm gonna hit a speed of 150 here. Spark Cutlass. Cutlass, good. Cutlass reach waypoint one one time now. Over. Go ahead and take Spark, waypoint one one. Covering left. Okay. One's back in flight. Spartan Carlos lead passing waypoint one two ten now. Can all off to the left, guys. Speed Spartan copy is waypoint one two. Ooh, that was close.
Test you back information. Roger. So the first flare that we're going to talk about is just a straight ahead flare. It's what everybody knows, it's what everybody's used to. You're coming straight in, and you're just going to pull back on the stick and lower your collective so that you get a nice downward glide slope toward the LZ, or just above the LZ. So as you can see, with Rambo's pulling back to the stick, he's not gaining altitude, he's actually still losing altitude. It's a balance point between pitch and collective. You can increase the rate of your slowdown and your flare by inducing more pitch and even less collective. And that's going to be ideal for high speed. We'll show you again once more same straight on flare with a high speed. Okay, one, go ahead. Could, can this one get a refill? Answer your question. One uh, one with that LZ there, I doubt he's going to have a circle. It looks like it's just going to be uh, both flights in, phase in. Obviously, you guys are going to have your separation. So, one comes in left, lands on the left side. Two comes in right, lands on the right side, phases in. And then, since we're obviously egressing off to the east, then you just got to be careful. Obviously, one is on the left. He's not going to cross over the other aircraft, so. Just uh, pick whoever's closest to the egress point, and that person's now becoming one and kind of phasing out through there. Um, but there is no orbit. He didn't mention anything about second aircraft orbit, so it's just phase in both landings north to south on that uh, LZ. Who's going with who? Uh, whoever one is. I'm one, so one and two are going first. No, one, 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 and one, four, so you're with me, and then once we're egressing out to the east, then one, two, um, and then one, three is going to push uh, once they get their cleared in. Cover is one, four, uh, addendum to your LZ brief. Try and one, four, send it. One, four, we're going to adjust, uh, it's going to be in from the west out to the east. We'll keep it a little bit simpler um, to allow tune to do tune things. Hey, for in from the west, out to the east, for uh, color slide. Color slide, if there's no other questions, uh... One, you good? Color slide's cleared in for two flights. Good to go. Roger. Alright, and uh, color slide, roger. Good copy, cleared in, uh, we're pushing, uh, anyway, now we advise click out. Zero R3, I'm gonna come up on your uh, right. I was on the wrong channel for 46.1. I wonder why it was so quiet. And click out for color flight. Yeah, uh, me and you are gonna fly in at the same time and land at the LZ at the same time. I don't know if you copied that. Yeah, I got that. Um, how do you, where do you want us to sit? Um, if you want to follow behind me, um, we can just follow in as normal 2-3 pattern, I don't know. Okay, works for me. Just leave in space. Probably, uh, yeah, uh, you uh go like behind you and a little bit your tail to the side a little bit. I'm on your right. One's down. Correction for Hello, slide on again. Call this flight, clear desk, clear desk, clear desk. Alright, you're out east. Call this out. Alright, I'm just gonna... One's out east. Huh. One's out east, you're clear. Stay off of 46.1, guys, please. clarify because it might be a nomenclature thing. What that means is the birds are going to be individually facing north with their 12 o'clock. So in some instances, yes, you are to each other east-west. 
Okay, yeah, I, I get that. Um, I just think I didn't write down the LZ brief because 4 had it, so I'm clear on that now. Roger that now, I got you. Um, yes, oriented basically next to each other, north and south fashion. Hey, for Oscar Mike. Tango Mike for calling yourself out, not writing that one down. <laughs> I said thank you for calling yourself out for not writing it down. Oh. <laughs> oh, I was talking to my wife. Cut this one click out. I'll see you. Cut this copy, clear it. We're gonna go straight down this road, then we're gonna move left, orient, orient ourselves north to south. Watch out for these power lines straight ahead. Gotcha. Do a little bit of a bleed here, and then I'm banking left through these trees. All right, I'll be behind you. I'm gonna land on the far right. Careful, you're taking fire. Flight. I'll lift clear dust, first. Clear dust, clear dust. Copy, clear dust. One is lifting. One lifting, I'm going out east. Call one clear. You are clear. You're clear. Clear. Alright, call us flight, Vanguard. Uh, that was much better in terms of NOE and altitude much better. Uh, we only had a very small glimpse on your approach with the Igla. However, as you probably noticed, your speed on that final 100, 150 meters was uh, a little bit slow, and that machine gun did have eyes on you over that roadway. With something like this, it's a bit of a kind of tactic opportunity. Make use of the side flare, which is going to allow you to come in pretty well straight on or somewhat offset to the south and then you can conduct a side flare which will then have you oriented north south as is desired and you can flare directly into the landing. Copy, we'll switch it up for this next one. Let's do the pass now if we can. Do what, sorry? Uh, do what, sorry? Uh, find out if we can just go straight into the next one. Attempt it again. Smart, cut this one, click out. Oh, let's watch that. Uh, clear the bush. I'm gonna start bleeding once we're closer to that power lines. Uh, Alright, I fucked up and have way too much speed coming into that. That's alright. That's alright, just bleed it out. I'll wait for you there. I'm good, I'm behind you. Leading right when you pass that radio tower. One's on the ground. Like clear dust, clear dust, clear dust. Clear dust. One's lifting, clear dust. All in clear. Three's lifting. That was a lot better on your ingress in terms of speed. 